Welcome back to the Codexos Cave and I hope you're ready for some action as today we are looking at the Punisher figure from Diamond Select. As you can see right in front of you, you have a big clear window box which is great for those of you who do not want to remove their figures from their boxes. And on the side you have a beautiful artwork of the Punisher. Now Diamond Select does claim that these boxes are shelf friendly as you could actually stack them in your shelf and uh, keep the beautiful illustrations displayed on the shelf. However, in my experience, I noticed that's not really the case as these packages from Diamond Select are usually quite large. Yeah, their, they, their height is quite big and uh, in your average shelf, it won't really fit that well. To the back of the box, we have again pretty cool uh, illustrations. You have a comic book background to the pictures then you have uh, a picture of the figure itself the the cool guy that sculpted it yeah some more uh, further information and also um, the logos of diamond select and marvel i don't know about you but i'm ready to dig in this box and take the punisher out as you are now hopefully able to see i have removed the punisher from the package and something interesting about this figure, I don't really know if I maybe should call it a two-pack or not, is that it does come with some interesting accessories, one of them actually being a second figure. As far as I can tell, there's really not much going on in terms of articulation for the second figure that comes with the Punisher included and you would, might consider it as being an accessory but however there's no denying that for the price you actually get two seven inch figures with this set uh, the figure also comes with a very interesting background that you can see right there let me show it to you an interesting uh, background of a oil with a window and a neon sign all quite uh, interesting to see, quite the big accessory as well. So let's dig into it and have a closer look at these figures. We are now having a closer look at the Punisher figure from Diamond Select and uh, might as well start off with uh, the head sculpt of the figure and, and the head of the figure itself. The portrait of this Punisher seems quite generic. I would, couldn't really put my finger on it that it would be maybe an actor or maybe a version from the comics. I'm not sure of that. This doesn't really bring that much re resemblance to anything like that in my mind. However, he does look tough. You know, like Frank Castle should be the Punisher. Is this really tough, rough guy. Um, and they nailed that pretty much. Uh, you do get, a, let's say, decent amount of detailing uh, in the, the Punisher's face. However, you also get some slight paint. I wouldn't call them maybe defects or mistakes, but maybe a bit of a rough paint around the edges. You can notice that around the hairline. If I'll zoom in a little. You'll be able to see that the hairline doesn't perfectly start with the black paint and it, it's painted but it's way more up than it should be and you have that skin tone on the hair right there uh, there's also some slight imperfections on the face of the figure now i'm not really sure if that's intended to be so or not but uh, it doesn't really seem like it was intended to be there, like uh, the small black marks right over there. Again, a bit of a rough painting around the hairlines. You can see that skin tone creeping on his hairline right there. You have some details going on. You have some veins on his neck, like, yeah, he's all beefed up and uh, ready to, to rumble. But again, you can see around the ears, what I was talking a bit earlier, that rough painting. And again, you can see the, the skin tones that are creeping on his 
hair right there. I guess as an overall look, yeah, it's fine. You know, the Punisher, he's, he's a rough guy, uh, rough around the edges. Maybe that works with this figure. I would have liked to see maybe a bit more attention paid to this paint application from Diamond Select. Maybe it's just the case of my figure. I don't really know. Uh, maybe you guys, if you do own this figure, you can let me know if yours has the, the same paint application uh, rough around the edges. Now, the Punisher does come with a shirt. The Punisher skull is really nicely painted in there. There is again a decent amount of detailing on the shirt. And he also comes with a coat. The coat is made out of softer plastic, almost rubber feeling plastic. Uh, something again, I'm not really happy with. It's that around the edges of this coat, you can see there are leftover plastic from the molds. At least in my case, in this place, I found it. And I'm pretty sure if, um, if we take a closer look around his coat, maybe, yeah, see right there again, a small part that's not trimmed from the molds. Maybe Diamond Select could have paid a bit more attention to this figure. Whatsoever, the coat does look good. Again, this decent amount of detailing. You can see the, the skin texture um, on, his, uh, on his coat right here. He also comes with a belt that's pretty nicely detailed. It does seem to be a different part attached to the figure as the coat as well. It does come with uh, all sorts of small pockets and uh, I think you can even snag maybe his pistol in there. That would look kind of cool. The pants are nicely done, I would say. They have a sort of bluish tint to them. And uh, the boots, again, are uh, decently made. You have a small brown tear, let's say, or um, yeah, more of a brown tint as uh, the Punisher's boots would actually be. That being said, as a closer look, it's now a time to actually look at this figure's articulation. It's time to have a sneak peek at this guy's articulation. And let me tell you from the start, this does not look really that good. Um, as far as I could tell, there's very little articulation to this figure whatsoever. I do find that the, the head does have some movement. It moves from side to side up and down just slightly. I guess if you wanted, you could turn it all the way around. Maybe not. No, I don't think you can turn it all the way around. And the hands, well, the hands do have rotation in the shoulders right there. And they do have rotation in the cuff area, in the hand area right here. Same goes for both hands. Um, I've noticed that the right hand of this Punisher, at least for my figure, became a bit loose after the first time I've moved it. It still works, it's not, not a biggie, but yeah, it's a bit loose now. It also rotates 360 and the hands rotate as well. 360, yeah. However, if you believe it or not, that is all that you get with this figure. Maybe some, no. There is literally no torso movement whatsoever. The feet are just mostly sculpted. Um, mostly this figure does seem to be more of a statue than an actual figure after all. There is very, very little articulation included and this hinders your options of actually displaying this figure and you will see when I will try to pose this figure, what I'm talking about. There are no interchangeable hands and both hands, in the case of this Punisher, have trigger fingers, so they are clearly designed to hold weapons. Now talking about weapons, the Punisher does come included with a rifle, an automatic weapon. Uh, you can see there's, again, decent amount of detailing on the, on the weapon itself. 
small shades here and there of silver uh, again something that seems to be consistent with this figure there are scraps left over of plastic from the molds on this weapon you could clear those out with an exacto knife and a bit of patience and precise cutting um, however you should not be indented to do so as this figure is not a figure that you would assemble or paint yourself in any ways. So there you have it, one of the Punisher's weapons of choice and that does come included with this package as well. The Punisher also does come included with a pistol. The pistol looks decently detailed. There's really no grain or metal grain on it whatsoever. You can see some brown in the handle and a few silver painted parts on, on the weapon itself. Um, it does look good in the hand of the Punisher, so yeah, I guess it's always welcomed as, um, as an accessory to this pack. It's now time to have a closer look at this guy. Well, I don't know exactly who this guy is, but his day was really bad. Obviously he had a one-on-one -on -one meeting with the Punisher. Uh, I see he has all sorts of tattoos, He's, it says Thug for life, maybe I'll call him a Thug from now on, yeah, that would be pretty, pretty suitable, I think. Now, this piece as it stands, it actually includes a figure, uh, then you have the pinball machine base, um, all smashed up from having this Thug. <laughs> Um, yeah, um, actually bound to the to this ping pong table. Um, under it, you can actually see two pegs from the tug figure that come and assemble to to the machine itself. Also, something you might want to note about um, this, I would say interesting and unique accessory after all it's that the the feet of the machine are actually removable they do come in the package removed so there is um, a little assembly that you have to do you actually have to take the um, the legs and peg them in something to keep in mind is that also this tug is cuffed has his hands cuffed to these legs of the machine so you want to drive the leg through these cuffs at first and then peg them uh, to the to the pinball machine right here and to the front also there is a pair of straps i would say a piece of rope and maybe a belt in this case also when you go ahead and uh, peg the feet of the pinball machine also make sure you first drive it through this rope and uh, this belt right here so you would get the desired effect uh, with this accessory now i wasn't really joking you actually get a second figure he does seem to be made out of some kind of softer rubber and as far as i could tell i couldn't really found any any articulation on him oh wait oh yeah <laughs> Yeah, this is really interesting. Uh, so this guy's feet can actually move. It does have some articulation points on, in there. I don't really know how much you can actually do with this option as you would want to perhaps display him and turn his feet a bit around. I don't know, it's, it's there, you can use it. Uh, however, I am quite surprised that the Punisher doesn't actually have any articulation in his feet, but this guy that's strapped to the pinball table actually does. I don't know what to say about that. It's, it's just kind of weird. Again, there's a decent amount of, uh, of attention paid to this accessory. The pinball machine actually you can see it's a Spider-Man pinball machine. That's a really nice touch, quite, quite an interesting idea. Uh, also, to, to this tug figure, you can notice he has plenty of tattoos um, all around his, his hands. Um, something also remarkable, it's that um, with his grenade stuffed in his mouth, actually the pin of the grenade 
it's left right there on his uh, on his chest. <laughs> so that's quite of an interesting touch. Of course, this is uh, the Punisher style of punishing. As I just said, this guy most likely had a really bad day going toe to toe with the Punisher, and uh, most likely he did got what he deserved. He, I do like that weird surprised expression on his face. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Also, the way the the screen of the pinball machine is cracked and then uh, the the head of the tag goes through the screen. Overall, I really like this aesthetic story. I think it's it's neat. It's something new. Uh, I didn't really see quite something like it before. So I think it's a great addition to this Punisher figure. Now I was just telling you a bit earlier that the, um, this figure comes with something of a small diorama piece, I would say, and uh, it does come with a wall, it does have a base that looks something similar to a wooden floor or something like that, it does have a, a wall and then we have the window with the, the neon sign. I think it's a pretty cool piece, uh, it's a nice accessory to be included. It's really big and uh, I think it obviously gives you the opportunity of action, actually placing the Punisher on this base. I think it looks pretty good and uh, great to see it included. Okay, now that we had a closer look at the figure, at the accessories included, it's time to give you a hint or two about the way you could actually pose the Punisher in your collection. As I was telling you a bit earlier before, due to the very very limited articulation on this figure, basically no articulation whatsoever on this tug accessory figure, let's say, of course, except the the moving boots that yeah, really doesn't much, do that much for you. Uh, your posing options are obviously strictly limited. I would have wanted to be able to pose the Punisher in some different ways. Obviously with the hands he has right now I can only go guns blazing. It, it's really the only way that makes much sense. Perhaps you could try to go with something like a holstered weapon maybe in his belt, I don't know, but that even so it's a very small and limited option to have. You can basically see that it doesn't really match, make much sense for him than rather to be guns blazing um, in sort of an action stance like that. Action it's a bit more more or less the right word because as I told you before, this is basically a statue and less of a action figure. However, it's all now it's not all bad with this pack and there are things that I do like and I do enjoy about this this figure and this pack particularly and that is because you not only get a Punisher figure but you must also think that you you get a small diorama package right on your shelf. And you can notice that because you have the big diorama wall with a window with a neon sign for the Punisher. Next to that you have this pinball machine, you have the, the tug strapped to the machine being all terrified. And uh, you can join these elements together to actually create a pretty small and neat diorama of the Punisher. And that's something you don't really see every day with 7 inch figures. So I must appreciate this aspect, I think it's something really cool uh, that they done and they brought us all these um, elements that we can play with and we can display the figure uh, in, a, in an interesting way, having some background, having like a, actually a small diorama going on. I would have liked to see a bit more articulation in the Punisher, I would have liked to be actually being able to somehow make him interrogate this uh, lovely tug suspect he has. However, he can't really do that without the articulation, so 
all I can do with him for now is to keep him on his small diorama piece right here. Um, have him guns blazing, looking all, looking all menacing and things. And uh, right next to him somewhere keep the, this other cool figure that's um, actually this thug and uh, strapped to the pinball machine. Not really having a good time, but <laughs> well, you know, that's what happens when you mess with the Punisher. So this would be pretty much uh, my review and my overview of uh, the Punisher figure from Diamond Select. Um, as coming to an end of this video and to some conclusions, I would say, first of all, I would have liked a bit more attention from Diamond Select to some of the details on these figures. I would have liked uh, maybe a more precise paint application, especially on the Punisher. Uh, I would have liked that maybe some residues from the molds would be actually removed from the figures themselves before they would be they would be packed, of course. However, you must also consider the price this pack comes with. You must keep in mind that uh, I don't know, it's something maybe under thirty bucks. You can get it all of this. You don't really only get the figure, but you also also get these cool accessories that actually compose a very nice uh, diorama and uh, I, it cannot be denied that it looks like a, a, a cool, a very good looking display piece with the Punisher. So overall, I must say I am satisfied with it for the price, for what you are getting, for um, this interesting little diorama setup. I must say I am I'm happy with it. I'm happy I picked it up. And uh, for any, any of you guys that are fans of the Punisher or figure collectors and maybe you're thinking of getting a Punisher in 7 inch scale, maybe this is um, a pretty good choice because after all you do, get, you do get a lot for the money. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, more videos will be coming soon your way, of course. I am trying to bring you in the Collector's Cave uh, quality reviews of figures from um, different manufacturers, from different characters, different franchises, movies, games and so forth. So if you do enjoy your time here in the Collector's Cave, remember you can always click that subscribe button so you'll be updated with the latest content uh, on the channel and also if you really want to make sure you will not miss anything from uh, the Collector's Cave, click that bell icon as that will assure you you will get notified once any new kind of content is being uploaded to the Collector's Cave YouTube channel. So this would be pretty much all for today. I give you a slow advice, do not mess with the Punisher, he's a tough guy and I will see you next time.